Uh, my name is Johnny Prime. Uh, me and a couple of guys started up the NYC Zoos Club. We met on Facebook and I said, let's get together when we get our bikes and hang out and here we are. What I love is about the Zeus group is that it's really chill yeah. with the Zeus people. Yeah. And I think a lot of it comes from how you sort of like, you know, organize things and curate things. There's something about BMX, I think, that unites us in nostalgia. You know, that feeling of when you get on a Zeus bike, when you get on a BMX bike, it's all smiles, everyone's in a good mood. And we haven't met one asshole yet. Like, <laughs> like everyone's got their own little quirks and everything, but they're all people that that you would die for. You know, like they're all good people, yeah. uh, all walks of life, and we just all unite behind behind the the, the love of BMX. Growing up with so many different perspectives, yeah, sure. that it just comes natural. That it feels awkward if everyone just likes the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and so I think I think you really embody that. Everyone kind of talks shop about what build they did, what what thing they added to their bike, and what new bike they want to get. And the group ride itself is just a small part of the experience of riding an e-bike. We had guys, five or six guys, they met up in Queens and then they rode here together. They probably had a longer ride together to get to the group ride than we did on the group ride. So the group ride is just a small segment, but it, it, it knits the community together. I'm so grateful to the, the relationships that we've built in this uh, short time period. And I only see it getting better from here. So you are known for your very tasteful and very powerful build. Oh, I appreciate that. Right here, we're looking at your modified Zeus. So tell us a little bit about this. Uh, this build is based on a Zeus Ultraflex, and it's kind of a parts bin build that I just, I had enough parts in my garage to put together. So let's walk through all the features. Let's start with the front of the bike. So you got these big fat tires right here. Yeah, yeah we're running a similar tire profile to a Super 73. They're uh, 20 by fours. Um, I like them because they, they work really well for me on the bike because I'm not the tallest guy in the world and uh, the, the Ultra Flex kind of sits up high with the stock wheel size so these fit me really well and add more of a like you know more motorcycle-ish vibe to the to the footprint of the bike and uh, I really I really like it and they, and they fit the fork yeah I didn't I didn't have to modify modify the fork or the rear at all they drop right in which is pretty cool Hope Tech th uh, 3 brakes on a uh, 220 front rotor from Prickly, so more parts bin stuff. I uh, This front brake was originally on my Suron and I got some new new brakes for that thing, so they, this got, this inherited it. You did mention, you know, potentially upgrading the fork as well. What I want to do is I want to put like some DNMs on it and then like run clip-ons like a proper cafe, but I I don't know, I might just do like a, um, just a, a more cafe style bar too in the interim, but that's that's the end goal is, you know, proper clip-ons. So like if a Zeus and a Suron had a baby, this yeah. is what it would look like. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> All right, so moving now, okay, so the bare frame very, very, yeah. is, uh, is a, I like, kind very cool. interesting. It feels very, like, intentional. The, the holes are cool, though. kind of reminds you of, like, speed holes and, like, the old uh, hot rods, which I which I enjoy, so. I mean, we never see this part of the Zeus frame. No, yeah, and I, I, I like that, uh, that part of this, this build. The idea was to, you know, push the seat back, change the riding stance from less bmx -y to more cafe. So yeah, you made it more like a cafe racer. You poured it over the Suron bars. For now, this is just what I had in my garage. It's going to be a very similar spacing though. I, I like I like the wide bars on this build. I like the, the height they are. If anything, I might try to push them out a little further, um, but we'll see. And let's talk about the battery over here. Yeah, so this was my Suron's old battery. It's a uh, 20S9P from the boys of Powerful Lithium, uh, made with Molly Cell P42As. Uh, connected to a 400 amp BMS. So this thing can push real power, um, especially through that QS8 connector. I have it connected to a Kelly 7230, which for those not familiar is the stock Onyx controller, but I'm I'm running it at its maximum, so it does a burst of like 300 amps. Five kilowatt um, motor uh, from Powerful Lithium. It tops out at about probably 60, 65. I haven't had it um, fully up there yet, but I'm not running a rear brake right now, so that's, that's kind of why. I've only hit like 50 on it, um, but I, it's got a lot more. It's a nice 
little pocket rocket kind of. It's my first kind of cafe style build, so I'm getting used to turning in like the lower like squatted position. Right. And I, I really like it. It's very fun. It's a very engaging feeling, that kind of turn. Um, and the, with the full twist, it's it's a, it's just a fun bike. You do have the classic cafe racer seat. There's a wooden baseboard at the bottom of the seat. So I just had to locate the, the screw bolts, yeah. like like the, the, the bolt holes rather, yeah. in line with the zoo's frame holes. Right. And then I just bolted it through. But I extended it back a bit for the, the actual frame probably ends about here. Yeah. Right about here maybe. So the I'm sitting on wood past Got that. It. Yeah. And then the controller is mounted to that wood uh, underneath. So these are the pegs that we, we you know, we spoke about uh, in a previous video. But, I, you know, this is a really good application for this build because obviously you don't need to pedal it. On my stock 1100, um, putting the pegs on was cool, but it also took away from didn't give me, yeah, I had more power and more speed pedaling. Yeah. Uh, so obviously with a bigger setup, you don't need that. It also kind of like adds to the um, more cafe stance because yeah. the way, way your feet hit the bike, yeah. which I like. I also added these um, yep. extra like BMX pegs in the rear so I could really like kick the foot back if I wanted to. Yeah, exactly. um, it also makes working on the bike really easy because I just put it on jack stands right there. Do your stand-up wheelies. You can follow me on IG. Um, uh, Brentley Builds there on Instagram. It's the season now, so I'll probably post a little bit more regularly, but if I'm doing something in the garage or if I finish a build or I want to show off a new part, I'll post it up there. This thing looks uh, very powerful. When I got this one, it was the uh, UF 1200 Flex. I need a comfortable seat. So I got this seat from top to seat. I approached uh, V from Powerful Lithium, and I asked him, V, what can, I, what can you do for me on this bike? So V actually decided to actually put a smaller size wheel on this one okay. and tire. This is actually a 20 by three. We decided to put a um, 60 volt battery on this one. Actually, this battery actually was also made specifically for my other Super 73 S2. So I can actually swap it by just using this battery. And then I did a little bit of mods on this thing. Like uh, I put a junction block on this thing. Yeah, with its own uh, set of, uh, you know, uh, wires that actually powers each of the uh, lights that I actually put in here, like turn signals. This headlight actually came from an Onyx. I have also put a USB, a uh, fast charge USB on this thing. So you can pretty much charge your, your phone as well as your your camera if you have a you know if you have a camera actually this one is equipped with a sabaton controller let me 80 amp and the motor actually is equipped with a 5000 watt motor uh, quite a few of our new york city zeus club member wanted to test this bike and i told them you gotta just gotta be careful with this one because just by because this one actually has five modes actually so I only have them tested for up to mode three because this bike can throw you off. Yeah. As much torque on this one, it's got plenty of torque on it. I can hit about 30 miles an hour on this one in about four seconds. Definitely love the, um, the yellow accents, the yellow and black colorway. Um, and yeah, I think all of your builds always, you know, yes. it has a lot of interesting tech um, that is really like matches kind of your lifestyle and how you like to ride. Shout out to Powerful Lithium. Yes. Uh, definitely the brains behind a lot of these bikes um, being modded in a way that's really thoughtful. They're not just, let's just slap the most powerful things on there. It's, uh, you know, what parts fit together the best. You know, I've always wanted to ride the Zeus and, you know, I love this bike. Thank you.